Podcast. Inside the Leah Cora Center in North Philadelphia, getting ready for game number one. One of these teams will win a second game today, the Ghost Ballers and Bivouac on CBS Sports Network. And it kicks off a great triple header today and tonight. Game two, the three-headed monster. And for Bivouac last weekend, big boost off the bench from C.J. Leslie scored nine points. Ghost Beat away. <laughs> and away we go. Avery, second weekend here in Philadelphia. One of these two teams is going to walk away with their second win of this big three season. It's very important to get off to a great start, whether it's the beginning of the game or beginning of the season. And uh, Bivouac, you see them going right into Josh Smith. This and Moon was huge last weekend against the Ball Hawks with 20. Throws it up and the adjustment to finish. Yeah, great set play. So Bivouac will Bynum with the ball. Josh Smith and Anthony Morrow start. And Bynum ties it up at two for mid range. It's going to be hard uh, playing Bynum one on one because Bynum is tough in space. Moon denied. Now never hit the rim as Steele couldn't clear it. And Davis steps up and scores. Great on shoot. It's nothing like a shooter being ready to shoot. Now Bynum putting on the moves. Step back, drills it off the crossover. That was a big concern. We talked to Reggie Theus yesterday. He said Josh Smith is great. He also happens to be our tallest player as Davis scores off the turnover. Yes. Josh Smith's going to be need his passing ability. Uh, they, you know, he's a smart player. Bynum almost off his back foot. Made his first two shots, missed that one. Ricky Davis, he can do that, Avery. Dials in from three. Especially trying to force him to his left hand. On ball defense right in the face of Bynum. Ghost Ballers won just one game last year, but Davis led the entire league in total points. Bynum breaks him down. Will Bynum knocks it down. Nicely done. Love a lot of heart. And, and here, little guys, they they don't like to get posted up. <laughs> oh, Rick. Um, now we got a little bit of one-on-one -on -one isolation action here. Bynum over Davis. Almost got a Kawhi bounce that time. A Kawhi bounce, you have to bounce, what, two or three times? Yeah, that was just once. <laughs> this was last week in Detroit. Josh Smith, his big three debut, didn't last long. Early against the enemies, scuffle with number one pick in the draft, Royce White. They were both ejected, and Bivouac was able to prevail. Josh Smith with our own Brandon Tierney, BT. Yeah, Eddie, he promised me he's going to stick around a little bit today. I don't know, uh, did you catch any heat for the family for getting bounced as quickly as you did? No, nah, I mean, my dad was probably the only one that gave me a hard time, but everybody else understood, though. Hey, listen, you play three on three, there's no half step, and you got to come correct that it got a little physical, and you're okay with that, right? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, it's exciting. It's exciting in the league. Uh, a lot of isolation basketball, so you definitely have to sit down and be able to uh, kind of show some pride defensively. So it's, 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 uh, it's a competitive league. I'm having fun. How's your timing right now? It's, it's, uh, I can work on it a little bit better, but but uh, you know it's it's, it's not. It's, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I got you guys. Thanks a lot, buddy. Eddie, back to you guys. Josh gonna stick around for a little bit today. All right, BT. Yeah, he's made it so far to the first time out, coach. But he came with a lot of energy. My team mean to me. Morrow deflection fires and misses. Right now, a nine to two run for the Ghost Ballers and trying to add to it. Give and go, Jamario Moon from Ricky Davis. That's what we need more of in this one. Cushion. That dunk giving him six points. Lob inside, Smith gathers and scores to get Bivouac with instance. Which gave uh, Josh Smith a chance to really catch and keep the ball up and finish at the basket. This is challenging for Bynum. Davis rips through and fouled. C.J. Leslie is set to check in for Bivouac. Smith on Bibby. Another chance. Josh Smith, the power that time. He'll take the trifecta. Now it's from the Avery Johnson left corner. Want a title from that spot. Davis extends the lead to 10 for the Ghost Ballers. Yeah, but Ed, I, I didn't have any three points. Take me to the, that was Sean Elliott. Sean Elliott could make corner threes. I'm not going to list the career numbers. Don't worry. 
Oh, Smith, the touch that time from Josh Smith. And now George Gervin gives him a breather. Mike Taylor comes in. Moon, look what I found. Never hit the rim, and he slams it down for two. Bynum takes Taylor off the bounce. Difficult shot. C.J. Leslie the switch and the finger roll. Again, 50-50 balls. Tough bounce. What George Gervin does here defensively because you know, Bynum obviously can get it going, especially from behind the three-point line. You don't want to go under. <laughs> right up. Bibby still looking for his first points this season. Davis denied. Bynum's there. Slam down to the follow by Josh Smith. And Bivouac is... I did to go under. He gave Will Bynum a, a rhythm shot. And again, loose balls, rebounds. Surely, right now, it's a three-point game. Smith against Moon, Josh Smith with his offense. And you can tell all these guys, they know him from today. <laughs> They're relying on scouting reports. Hey, I played against Josh Smith. I want to try to force him right. <laughs> but I don't want him to, to drive. I want him to shoot jump shots. He scored 16 points. Ricky Davis has gotten us there. Ghost Ballers 26 and Bivouac 23. A good one to close the half, Avery. I just have is to get Anthony Morrow going. He didn't score in the first half. Short that time. They get a second chance. Leslie spins away and CJ Leslie finishes. This and Bibby. Bibby is yet to score in two big three games. Moon, different story, drills that one. He is 10, Davis with 18. All defensively, and he's really challenged this team. And, and a lot of times when you pick it up defense. Sean Williams breaks down Moon. So it's Williams with Morrow and Leslie. And Morrow banks it in, gets it a one-point game again. Especially when teams run him off the three-point line. Yeah, Bibby guarding Morrow. Fall away for Leslie, got it up high and scores in bivouac. Just in case you do get fouled. Right. You want to have a chance to shoot one shot in big three from the three-point line and get three points. I would think that would drive guys like Greg Popovich <laughs> and others. 32-30 bivouac. We got a good one here in game one. Taylor out of a double. Ricky Davis wide open. Great find by Mike Taylor. And we talked about it in the pre Plays the game the right way. Plays with a high energy. Oh, Williams gets the kiss that time. The bench was saying go right. It's important in three on three and not just standing still. Will Bynum, scissor kick and the finish. First appearance since halftime for Will Bynum. Taylor trying to answer and he does. Steps up and carries the three. Here's a matchup. Game by the by Taylor to the basket. And that needs to be on every highlight from every sports channel all week long. <laughs> Taylor. Wow. Now there, there was an issue with the clock. He knows Will is a strong right-handed player. Will. <laughs> Oopsie do. Step around Mike Taylor, he's down with BT. I'll tell you what, Ed, it, it, depending upon what park you're in, if that happens in the park, you might not be allowed back in the park. Talk about spin cycle. Uh, now, this is something I've been working on up in Chicago. It's brought out a little, little Chicago flavor. I let them know where I'm from. So you add that late. You, I mean, that hasn't been part of the repertoire forever. You just brought that in? I mean, I got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to get the showcases of Elijah on this big three. I remember they didn't draft me last year, so I'm taking it out on all of them. I like it. Man's focused. He's not happy. Okay, I got you. They did count the Ghost Ballers basket before the media timeout gave them the continuation. So right now, 40-37, and Taylor steps in, and Denson shot on. There it is. Uh, it's the hamstring. Actually, I wasn't sure it was the knee, but obviously you get a look at the ice behind the knee. Hamstring not coming back. He's done for the day. That's what he just told me. And that last shot that... My guy Morrow took. He's gonna have to feel the closeouts. Are they closing out? Or are you gonna get open looks like Moon? There's wide open threes for your teammates. 9 2 Ghost Bowlers run. Bynum lost it. Taylor on him. Ball loose. 
Here's Smith. A steal. Taylor swipes and finishes. And the Ghost Bowlers, three points from victory. Wow. There's diving on the floor. What hustle. Look at it. Great steal. To knock it away, the city started with the Sixers against Power. Look at Taylor on Bynum. Bynum trying to offload. Taylor gets in there. Kept it in. This is for the win. Mike Taylor almost and Moon has the Ghost Bowlers. Well, especially if you're a little guy, if you just box out and make contact. Bynum floater, got it. Will Bynum's. None in the first half. Ten since halftime for Taylor. On Smith to the rim. Denied by Josh Smith. Morrow. Oh, yes, it goes down. So if you want to run a pick and roll, you might want to go at somebody else other than Josh Smith. Ricky, da Ricky Davis. It's up. Off the mark. Bivouac with some life. Bynum hesitates, step through, can't finish, never hit the rim, Moore cleans it up, the Ghost Bowlers win it in Philly. Ball game. <laughs> I think the defense. Look at the help defense and the support. Some teams think you can't help. With Good. Nice job, buddy. Hey, Bill. I feel alive, baby. I feel alive. 2-0, oh, man, how you supposed to feel? You're supposed to feel really good. I talked to you last week. You had a good game last week. Boozer came back, so you had to work him in. Mike Bibby pulled the hamstring. A couple of moving parts for you guys today. You still prevailed. But listen, we, we all professional, and we know it's next man up. So we got, we got pros all on our bench. So if you know somebody go down, you know it's time to up your game. You see what Mike Taylor did. Crazy energy. <laughs> this guy, by the way, this guy gets ready like he's getting ready to fight. I mean, his pregame warm-up is insane. I love it, though, because it's the game he loves, and you, you don't take it for granted. You know, a lot, I know a lot of people out there probably look at this league and kind of like, oh, I, three. I, I don't know about that, by the way, but keep going. you got to be grateful for every opportunity that is put in front of you. And I think Ice Cube again this year, just like I did the first two years, even though I didn't play the first year, I thank him for this league, man. It's, go, it's only getting bigger. Well said. Ghost Bowlers 2-0. Oh, thanks, Jamario. Jamario Moon. Hey, hey, this for you, good water. Uh, and he's giving shout-outs, too. He is yes. in a good mood. BT, Jamario Moon, your guest two weekends in a row.